Can I go get my camera? Can he bring some entire my camera? My freaking Pelican mix? <laughs> Welcome. Good evening, family and friends. We have come here to celebrate the wedding of Michelle and Walter. <laughs> On behalf of Walter and Michelle, thank you for joining us. They are delighted that you have come to share in their joy during this special day. <laughs> By your presence, you celebrate with them. Marriage is a bond to be entered into only after considerable thought and reflection. By making this commitment today, Michelle and Walter's relationship will become stronger, better, deeper. Today, Michelle and Walter demonstrate their devotion to each other by dedicating themselves to a life together, and they show their respect for each other by setting forth to honor the vows they have created. Today, their lives, which began on separate paths a mere eight years ago, will be joined as one. Today represents not only the joining of Michelle and Walt, but also the joining of their families and friends. Michelle and Walter would like to recognize their parents, Fred, Marlon, Mike, and Sue, on this occasion. <laughs> they offer their profound gratitude. Without you, this day would not be possible. <laughs> As much as today is a celebration of Michelle and Walter's marriage, it's also a celebration of their love, which is built upon the last eight and a half years they have spent together and all the experiences encompassed by that time. Michelle and Walter have also asked that we take a moment to remember those loved ones who are not with us today. Walter and Russell Simonson, Jeannie Simonson, Kaylin and Margaret Pang, and Douglas Yee. As we remember those who are not with us, we also recognize those who are still denied the civil right of wedded union. We have come a long way toward treating all men and women as equals, and yet we acknowledge that we have still farther to go. And more we can do to respect the right to love and to be loved. Okay. This is where we say something special. <laughs> uh, so, okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Walter and Michelle, for being such a dear friend to me. You are welcome. Uh, if they can treat the weirdo in the back house this well, you know, <laughs> think of what they do for one another. You know. um, I think everyone in the room knows that uh, y'all two are perfect for one another, and you're fixing to have a great rest of your lives together. That's all I gotta say. Nice work, Blackwell. Go, Elsie. Yeah. You know, it's pretty easy to see Walt and Michelle's relationship as kind of a fairy tale. They've always been the ones that have that solid relationship, the one that everybody else admires, the one that's just going to last, and you know it because it's in your gut. <laughs> they make it look effortless, and that's tremendous, but underneath it all, what makes it count is that they make it work. They're committed, they love each other, and they're just totally focused on each other's happiness. And that's why we know it's going to be great and why I'm so excited that you're formally recognizing this beautiful relationship for a lifetime to come. Thanks. <laughs> now, I ask you to turn and acknowledge everyone as they acknowledge you. As <laughs> As family and friends, you form a community that surrounds Michelle and Walter. Do you offer your love and support? Please answer by saying, hell yeah. Hell yeah! Thank you.
Michelle and Walter, do you, with family and friends as your witnesses, present yourselves willingly and of your own accord to be joined in marriage? Am I supposed to say? Absolutely. 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 <laughs> Will you promise to care for each other in the okay times, good times, and great times of life, and share the responsibility for building your life together? You, you know, know it. it. Please turn to each other and share the vows. I'm first, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I had them in three years. I mean, it's 2013, right? I can use the phone, yeah? I went old school. All right, paper. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm listening. You look like you're listening, so it's good. I'm in the listening stance. Michelle. First and foremost, I promise to always try my best to make you laugh. I will try to find the outrageousness of life and make as much fun of it as possible. If that doesn't work, I'll try self-deprecation. <laughs> and if that fails, I will always fall back on poop jokes. <laughs> because who doesn't like good poop joke, right? Yeah. <laughs> That being said, I promise to keep embarrassing you as well. This will ensure that no one will ever think you are the strange one in our life. I promise to always look at stuff you get excited about and enjoy it with you. Yep, I'll even keep looking at shoes. Yeah. I will support you in every life dream. I will accept your goals as ours. I will crush anyone who stands in our way. And I will ensure this by building my deadlift to a Schwarzenegger level. <laughs> but most importantly, I promise to always make this happen. Yes. The two of us. I will work on making sure that when we tell people in the year 2100, because we're both going to live to be in our hundreds, we have been, that because we've been together forever, it won't be because of our hopes of a Guinness Book of World Records certificate suitable for framing. But because I love you just as much as I do now. And it's not because I'm going to make our love, I'm not into making our love stronger. But because I already love you more than anyone can love anyone in the history of loving anyone. <laughs> it's been the greatest 8.5 years of my life so far. And you are a trooper for waiting for me. But I promise you this. You and me together means that the next hundred years and beyond will be insanely awesome. And I can't wait for us to rule the world as one. Let's do this! That's good. I'm, I'm not in his century, so I, it's on paper. Oh, I like that. It's on paper. He always upstages me, too. It's great. Okay, well, he already worked the room, so you guys are laughing. I promise to laugh at your jokes <laughs> and smile as much as possible even when they're not funny. <laughs> I will do my best to not make you read my mind. I will always let you know what I actually think. I'll do my best to determine if you're actually interested but I'll probably tell you anyway. <laughs> I will always support you in your endeavors. I will do everything I can to make us better and stronger even if it means dragging you out of bed to go to the gym at 6.30 a.m., which I do. I promise to celebrate successes and also to always cheer you on. I promise to always tell you when I'm hungry. I also, <laughs> I also promise to apologize when I say outrageous things to you when I'm hungry. Uh, I will always love you. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. We have a lifetime of things to celebrate. That's true. All right, Michelle. Good, good, okay. Okay. Walter. <laughs> My bad. For thousands of years, lovers have, <laughs> lovers have exchanged rings as a token of their vows. Let these rings be a sign that love has a past, a present, and a future.
Walter. Take Michelle's ring and place it on her finger and repeat after me. I think it's this one. Okay. It'll get there, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I give you this ring as a sign that I will love you forever. I give you this ring as a sign that I will love you forever. To be my love, my confidant, and my best friend till the end of days. Which may, and most likely, be a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Wear it. Think of me. Use it to ward off strange men at bars. And know that I love you no matter what. Michelle, take Walter's ring and place it on his finger. I give you this ring as a token to show others that you're mine. <laughs> to be my love and my best friend forever and ever. It's nice, but you don't always have to wear it because I know that you will always love me. Um, <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> Where? <laughs> okay. You're going to say this part, right? No. I'm going to say this. Okay. <laughs> Michelle and Walter, we have heard your promise to share half of all your stuff with the other. We recognize and respect the vows you have made. In the honesty and sincerity of what you have said, and in accordance with the laws of the glorious state of California, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Kiss her. Now may the love that has brought you together continue to grow and enrich your lives. May you meet with courage the problems that arise to challenge you, and may your relationship always be one of love and trust. May the happiness you share today be with you always, and may every word you have pledged here be a living truth in your lives. Ladies and gentlemen, may we happily present to you for the first time Dr. and Mrs. Walter and Michelle Simonson. Lisa?